Quite recently, after the release of the pathetic film made to devour the character of our prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, insults and mockery have been on rise by uneducated and uninformed people. Going back in history, similar people with ignorance and hatred tried to twist the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which means praiseworthy, to Mudhammam, which is an abusive word. Today, absurd people aim to mislead and curse the Prophet's character through modern media like films and cartoons, what they don't realize is that they're ruining the image of the person they created themselves, which is a false identity of Prophet Muhammad. Allah's Apostle said, Doesn't it astonish you? Oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects me from the Quraysh abusing and cursing. They abuse Muhammad and curse Muhammad while I am Muhammad and not Muhammad. This film has derived thousands of people around the world to go in depth of actual history. This includes people in the West as well. And this is... Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, won millions of hearts because of his great personality. People embrace Islam just by watching his beautiful manners and etiquette. He is the only one that can be said as perfect in all kind. A perfect man, a perfect husband, a perfect father, a perfect friend, and a perfect leader for his ummah. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was the most generous man. His kindness was not only towards his family and his ummah, but even towards strangers and non-Muslims. Annie Besant, author of the life and teachings of Muhammad, quoted in her book, Muhammad was the soul of kindness and his influence was felt and never forgotten. His great understanding and love changed many people's heart and he was also able to solve problems that people faced. He led people from dark tunnels to heavenly lights. He showed people how to live happier and full of lives just by putting their faith on one God. Yet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had suffered countless miseries. The kuffar tortured him and his followers. They kept them in dark cells, abandoned them with food and water. They took him away from his home. And when it was his time for payback, he did not seek for vengeance. Instead, he forgave them. Following a time, Prophet peace be upon him was in Taif. Every single day he used to call people for believing in one God when they threw rocks and stones on him make him bleed from head to toe once he overbled and collapsed to the ground all the later out of intense and frustration he could have asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to punish them severely after all he was the most beloved prophet but he was not one of those who seek revenge he endured all complications and set out an example for mankind at one of the occasions, Aisha may Allah be pleased with her, 
said that the holy prophet never struck anybody with his hand, neither servant nor woman. But necessary, he did strive for jihad in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He never avenged any wrong done to him personally, but he did avenge those violating divine commandments. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the greatest that ever lived or will live. He fought for his nations, he fought for the truth, he fought for what was good and what was bad. I think till now, he is a true inspiration for every Muslim and even to those who are non-Muslims. There are a number of famous people who are not Muslims but yet are inspired from Prophet himself. George Bernard Shaw, a famous writer and a non-Muslim says, He must be called the savior of humanity. I believe that if a man like him were to assume the dictatorship of this modern world, he would succeed in solving its problems in a way that would bring it much needed peace and happiness. Mahatma Gandhi, one of the leaders of India, said, I wanted to know the best of the life of one who holds today an undisputed sway over the hearts of millions of mankind. I became more than ever convinced that it was not the soul that won a place for Islam in those days in the scheme of life. It was a rigid simplicity, the art of self-effacement of the Prophet, the scrupulous regard for pledges. His intense devotion to his friends and followers, his intrepidity, his fearlessness, his absolute trust in God and his own mission. These and not the sword carried everything before them and surmounted every obstacle. When I closed the second volume, I was sorry there was not more for me to read of the great life. Another famous saying by Michael Hart, who is the writer of the most influential persons in history, said, My choice of Muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential persons may surprise some readers and may be questioned by others. But he was the only man in history who was supremely successful on both the religious and circular level. Looking at the bigger picture, Ever since people who are trying to compose a false image of Prophet Muhammad are actually igniting curiosity for viewers around the world to eventually know the truth about Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him. If you agree with the spreading of the true essence of our Prophet, so please share this video as much as you can. Thank you for watching. Wassalamu alaikum.